What's up, everybody? Jason here with CaseBreaks.com. Just sold out 1819 Panini Dominion Basketball. It's a one-box break, number one, random number block. So, uh, of course, this is a random number block style. So no matter what team you have, it all just depends on the serial number. So the way this works, guys, everybody will get, everybody, every spot will get a random number for the break, uh, zero through nine. So as an example, if you get number three, you'll get all cards with three being the first number next to the dash on the left side. So, for example, if a card pops up 13, of 99 that'll be your hit for number three block three of 25 43 of 49 93 of 99 and etc that'll go to the block three spot any redemption cards that pop out of here we give them to spot zero even if it's an one one it'll still go to spot zero and of course in the case of there being unnumbered cards we will randomize them to the customers in this break so here you go guys dice roll it and we got Six and a three, nine times. So names and team, or nine, names and numbers, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine times, Brad down to Kenton. So there you go. Nine times here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine times seven down to six. All righty. So, Brad, you have seven and nine, Kenton with zero, two, Last one Mojo, three and one. So, any one on ones, of course, any redemptions. Brad with four, Peter with five, Kenton with eight and six. Now, I'll give you guys time to make any trades. So, I'll pause the video really quick. If no trades, then we'll come back and we'll break open some Dominion basketball. All righty, guys. Trade window close. Well, you had the most spots, Kenton, so hey. I don't think you were going to be trading anybody. <laughs> I don't think you'd be trading any of the main numbers, at least 0, 1 or something like that. But yeah, guys, we're trading when they're closed. I don't think anybody wanted to trade any numbers. So let's close it up. Especially random number blocks. You know, I don't think that many people would be down to trade a random number. Like, that's it's bold, you know? All right, guys. Here we go. And good luck, man. Let's get some Luca or some uh, Trey Young. Yeah, exactly. Pers it is personal. If you didn't want to have surgery, I mean, you can't make him, right? But I don't know if it was just because he was scared of it. Because I'm looking back, Deshaun Jackson definitely has has uh, has injury history, of course. Never really missing the whole season, but nagging, you know, growing, stuff like that. But I don't think he's ever had surgery in his whole life, so... Yeah, maybe it was, like, personal. Maybe he was a little scary. I don't know. But, yeah. All right, guys. So, there you go. We got six boxes right here. So, we're just going to number these boxes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And what we'll do, since we actually have a dice to roll, of course, with six. There you go. Whatever one goes. And... It's the six. There you go. We'll be doing box six. I know, right? Screw it. When should I have had surgery on his ACL? <laughs> no, but see, if some, if the doctors tell you, hey, man, you'll be back in six weeks if you have surgery, or it may take you six weeks or seven weeks to heal, but if it doesn't, then you're going to have to have surgery after. What are you going to do? You know? It's a little different. Well, I mean, Philip Rivers played with a torn ACL that one year in the championship game. And he played through it, although they lost, but he did it. All right, so the first one we got is Jeremy Lin. That is 5 out of 25. So spot 5 with that one. That'll be going to Peter. 
Exactly. I mean, hey, actually, you know what? Wentz did throw that two point conversion or that touchdown pass to Alshon with the torn ACL too. So I guess he did play through a torn ACL for one ser- one play, and then he and then he got taken out of the game. You know, Don McNabb played with a broken ankle in a playoff game. And I don't think he played the next week, but... Jacob Evans. It'll peel off. Now, I don't think these are actually numbered, are they? Oh, yeah, they are. 195 of 199. So there you go, spot five again going to Peter. No, Terrell Owens basically played with a broken ankle as well, but McNabb played through it. He broke it that same game, and he came back and taped it up and played. T.O. broke his ankle, like, about three or four weeks before that Super Bowl game, and he played with, like, screws on his ankle. He signed, like, a, a waiver, so that way he doesn't sue the NFL because he really wanted to play. Uh, 124 of 199, a little rookie jersey autograph for the T-Wolves. That's spot four going to Brad. But I believe McNabb played, I think, 03 or 02. I think it was against the Cardinals. He broke his ankle in that game and he came back and played. And they won that game. We have a dual autograph. Look at that. That is 10 out of 25. That is Robert Ori and Sam Cassell. Oh, I know. Chio actually did really well against that game. Man, if he would have been healthy, who knows? He probably would have had more touches, maybe a touchdown catch. But it's kind of not reminiscent about that. I'm, it still breaks my little kid heart right there. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That's spot zero going to Kenton. All right, we got Kevin Knox. Nice. 90, or sorry, 7 out of 49. Spot seven, that's going to Brad. Rest of the team losing, and they end up with a top eight. Do you think that? Well, you know what they say? I mean, they did it to Josh Rosen, right, Sean? When your coach wants their guy, you got to go out and get your guy. What if the what if their new coach, if they get one, wants uh, what if he wants one of the new quarterbacks coming out in this draft class, right? We got Michael Bridges. For the Phoenix Suns, 44 out of 49. Spot four going to Brad. Oh, yeah, on the field, I mean, if he wasn't on your team, you hated him. But if he was on your team, you loved him, right? And, oh, my. Ooh, we got, oh, it's just a patch. I thought it was an autograph. 97 out of 99. That's going to Brad. I think that's like a two-color. Sorry, guys, we just moved the studio, and the light kind of shines bright when we stream a little early today. But it'll settle down. There you go. Boom. That was the break, folks. So here you go. Really nice box, I have to say. Kevin Knox. Got a dual autograph. This is pretty nice stuff, actually, guys. This uh, Dominion basketball. It's pretty high-end, too. Uh, we can always run one back. We have uh, at least uh, five more breaks of these. And again, no Luca or Trey Young autograph pulled. So there could be one hiding in the next remaining boxes. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.